Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com and today I want to show you a bracelet called the Zigzag and it's going to feature um, the uh, <laughs> the Mad Max style closure at the end um, and it's just a series of knots that you basically are creating until you get the desired length and then you stop whenever you get to that point. Um, let's get started. So I have about four feet of each of these colors. I have, um, I thought this was olive drab green, but it's a little too bright for that. It might be khaki. And then I also have crimson. So four feet of each color. We're not using a buckle today. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a loop on the end of one of these pieces of cord. And you can use either, either one. It doesn't matter. Um, it's about two inches long. And you just want to have enough room. You can even go just a little longer if you if you want. Now you're gonna basically pinch this and hold on to it so that it doesn't move. The next thing you're going to do is go about six inches down the cord and put that right next to it, just like this. And you're going to to basically wrap around all three cords. And you're going to wrap three times around and you're wrapping back toward that way. So your first one goes around one, two, three, and then we take our end and we go through the two loops right here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So once you have your three wraps, you'll have two showing towards you here. You're just gonna take your end and go through those two loops just like that and then pull this tight. And you want to pull this really tight. This is what's going to basically hold the cord at the very end. So this is the loop that you pass the cord through when you're all finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the end off here and here and melt the ends. There's one. And I really need to get my smoothing tool. And you can see I kind of, oops, I kind of melted the, the paracord around it too. So try not to do that. It's just real hard for me to see the flame because of the lights. So I tend to mess up where I'm melting at. Do the same thing here. And then you just want to kind of flatten that in there. Okay, so now what we do is we take one of our pieces that we just cut, slide it through this loop on the end, and then pull the other cord so that it cinches right down on this paracord. And you want to pull this tight. You want that, that loop to be tight because that's what's going to hold the bracelet together when we're all finished. Now, to do the, the bracelet is real simple. You can start on either side. You're just going to create a loop. Take that same color cord around the center cord. So you're going over top and then around the back and through the loop. And that's all there is to it. This is going to be one of the easiest bracelets you ever tie. And then pull it nice and tight. Just like that. And then repeat the process with the other color. Create a loop. Go around the back and up through the loop. And pull it tight. Now you want to make sure that the that it's facing you the same exact way each time you tie. Otherwise you're going to get like a spiral shape or something that's like real wavy as it goes. Um, so just make sure that the cords are always the same way. They're not like over here and you're twisting and you're tying it that way. So, and it's going to alternate left side, right side, left side, right side. So create the loop, take it across, round the back, bring it through the loop.
and pull it tight. Just like that. Same thing on the other side. Create a loop around the back, up through the loop. Pull it tight. And now you can kind of start to see the pattern. We're starting to get a little bit of a pattern showing through now. I'll do a couple more and then I'm going to finish up the length of it and then I'll come back like I always do and show you how to finish the bracelet. So the loop, take it across the center, take it behind the center and up through the loop. It doesn't get any easier than this. And what, what's wanting to happen is that this is wanting to curl towards me. And you can kind of see it's curling. So just grab it and shape it the other way so that it goes nice and flat. There we go. Alright, so I did six of them. And I think this is easy enough. You can do this while you're watching TV. And you don't even have to look down, I don't think. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back to show you how to finish your bracelet. Okay, as you can see, I've gotten my, my length that I need, and I've also attached the fids to the other end. Now, one way you want to do this is you want to create this bracelet so that when it's on your wrist, it's going to be about an inch away from actually touching. So once it's there, the next thing you want to do is lay your hand on the bracelet and kind of close your hand as if you're trying to put this bracelet on and then you're going to take the cords over to where the loop is on the other end and find where it touches that loop which is right there now once you find that point you're going to go ahead and make a mark and I already made a mark because I've already done this let me lighten this up, there we go so I've already put a little I just took a pen and made a little mark right there. And the next thing you do is we're just going to slide this piece of cord out so we have a loop there. And then we're going to take... Oh, and by the way, I like the back side of this much more than I like the front. So it's really up to you at this point. But I'm going to use the back side as my bracelet. So we're going to go this way with it. And really, you could do either way. You could put it through this way, and then all you'd have to do is kind of turn the bracelet inside out. And you can make it reversible very easily after it's all finished. Um, so we're going to take the crimson through this loop. It's going to be a little tight because we pulled it tight. So we'll pull the crimson through. And then we're also going to pull... I think this might even be moss. I can't tell. It's got kind of a sheen to it, which it normally doesn't. There we go. And this is really tight. Okay, there we go. Oh. Get these fids off of here. Get them out of the way. All right, and then we're going to pull our green, our unknown green color, until that mark right there. So basically what this mark is telling me is that the stopper knot that we used to finish this bracelet, and this isn't going to stay very tight right here, so I think what I want to do here is take my lighter, and very easily what I want to do is I want to melt these two together so that that doesn't come undone. So I'm just going to real lightly melt these. on the side so that you don't really see it and then kind of stamp them together and what that does that keeps that knot it keeps that knot from undoing itself which is very possible with this one so yeah you're just melting these two pieces together kind of in a spot where you won't see it and it doesn't really rub on your skin okay so anyways now that we know where this mark is that's what's going to be our indicator where our, our stopper knot needs to start. So I'm going to pull this all the way through, and we're going to do a button knot. Now, I'll have the video at the end of this 
video as a clickable square at the end of the video and it'll teach you how to do the button knot because I'm going to do this a little quicker than I do in that video and I'll also have it in the description at the bottom. So the first thing we want to do is I just put my middle finger up through the two cords coming off of the bracelet just like that and then they both come off to your right. You're going to take the top cord or the right most cord, pinch it, roll it away from you so that you get a loop, just like that. This loop is going to go over top of the other cord and just sit there. Now your other cord is going to go under, under this working end here, and then we're going to go over, under, over. So over, under, and then over, just like that. And you can see we have kind of like this figure eight looking knot here. The next thing we want to do is continue working with that cord. And we're going to go under everything, around, and then from, from the top where my finger is, we're going to take that down my finger, underneath of everything, and up through the diamond. Just like that. And you can see this This is underneath of everything. Once I pull this, see how it went underneath everything? And we're going to go off that way with it. Now we're going to do the opposite, but the same on the other side. We're going to go around and under everything. So you can see it kind of twists around everything. And then opposite of your middle finger, you're going to take it under the whole entire thing and up through that same diamond hole in the middle. And this is a little tricky one because you've got to kind of feed it through. There we go. You can see it's coming up through that diamond. Alright, so that's basically it. So you can remove your finger and then we're just going to tighten a little bit at a time. And this might... Okay, there it goes. Okay, you can see it's starting to form a little bit. So I just like to work with every cord here. Pull a little at a time. Just one cord at a time. You've got four cords that you can pull on. One, two, three, four. If you pull a little at each one, it's really hard to mess up how this one looks. And what I'm also doing is I'm looking for that, that mark I made. Actually, it's right there. That's perfect. That is exactly where I want it to be. I don't know if you can see that, but the mark is right there. So you want your stopper knot to be exactly at that point. So I'm not going to worry about pulling any more slack through this end. I'm just going to pull it all from this side. And what I'll have to do... Okay, so this one I can pull a little more because you can see this has got a little more slack in it than the green. So I'm going to pull that slack out right here, make those even. There, those are nice and even now. And I'm just going to work this slack around the knot. Just figure out where it's got to go, pull that slack through. It's going this way. And you just do this until this knot is nice and tight. And pull that that way. And we'll do the green. It's going this way. Sorry, this is probably the most boring part, watching me tighten up this knot. That way, bring it down. And bring it up through. And I think that's pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it at that, because that's nice and tight. I don't want to mess with where my my mark is, because that needs to stay right there. Now I should be able to open this up and get my hand through here. It might be a little snug, but yeah, I can get my hand through here, no problem. It'll just take a second, but yeah. Okay, that's perfect. That's right where it needs to be. So I'll go ahead and close this back up. And then all we do is cut this right at the knot. You're going to cut both strands, just like that. And then what I like to do is just get this real nice and melty so it's almost like a little bubble of nylon at the end.
There we go. It was hard for me to kind of see where the flame is. Oh, and we just ran out of fuel. But that's fine because that's exactly how I wanted it to be. You can see it's kind of shiny. And it's something that if it touches your skin, it's going to be nice and smooth. But it's enough to where it doesn't pull through. So once you have that, you're you're done. So in my case, I like the other side better than the, the zigzag side. So there it is. That is the zigzag. And if you want, you can reverse this. You can turn it inside out. And you can still pull this tight so that you can tighten up your bracelet. And that's the zigzag side. But like I said, I like this side better. So that's the way I did it. And it's really up to you. Um, you can tie it how I taught you how to, how to tie it. And then figure out which side you like better. And just make sure your cord is either going to go this way through the loop. Or it's going to go that way through the loop. And that will depend on which side you like better. But uh, don't forget to check out the Facebook page. Uh, or Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And I'll see you in there. And until next time, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time and there's a few to the right side of the screen. And you can also buy paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.